You can add 3D models to your Verica project by simply dragging and dropping a 3D model file from Windows into your project tree. But did you know that with Veracut's Add Model feature, you have access to powerful 3D model utilities that can repair and alter your 3D models and enhance your simulation? For this tech tip video, let's go over some of the tools you can use in the Veracut Open Model window. To access the Open Model window, right-click on a component, go down to Add Model, and select Model File. This will open your working directory. Notice that there's options down here for different 3D model utilities. Access the open model window by right-clicking on a component, going to add model, selecting model file. This will open up a window to your working directory. Notice the options we have here on the bottom. The first column are features to specify some properties about the 3D model you're bringing in. Solid models should have outward facing normals, but if your model is different, you can change that with this menu here. The next menu is to specify what units the 3D model was saved in. If your model was saved in metric, and your Verica project is in inches, choose millimeter in this drop down and your model will be brought in at the correct scale. Here are some options for IGIS files. Select if you are importing 2D elements such as pro, uh, curves and arcs, or if you're importing surfaces. So I'll select one of my model files here, click OK, and oh no, that is too small. And something's going on here with the normals on this model. So let's try that again. I'll add a model with the model file. I'll select inward normals and I'll choose inches. Let's try that again. And now our model is brought in at the correct scale with the normals, surface normals facing outward. The second column of the open model file window is, has features for assembly files like step and PRT. The first checkbox, assembly, will allow you to break up an assembly into its individual components in the project tree. The second checkbox, Remove Reference, will make a copy of the step file, PRT, or CATIA V5 model and save it as a polygon file. Verica will reference the new polygon file. So here, I'll choose uh, a step file assembly here, and we'll bring this in. And now you see that the four individual models of the assembly are, are separated, and also, because we've removed reference, we'll have four separate polygon files saved as well. And Verica will reference these polygon files. The third column in the open model window is the model utilities. These are simple to use, but quite capable. When you use any of these utilities, a separate polygon file is created and saved with an extension. The first model utility is repair. 3D models must be watertight in order to be considered a solid model in Veracut. The repair utility removes inconsistent surfaces and will close any holes to make that model watertight. Reduce decreases the number of triangles in your 3D model, decreasing the file size but increasing the tolerance deviation. Click the checkbox and there will be an input field. Enter the value for maximum deviation in model units. Offset lets you shrink or grow your model by the distance that you input. Use negative numbers to shrink the model and positive numbers to grow it. Remove Features is a utility for removing small inward or outward protrusions from your model. This can be great for cleaning the surface of models you've created with a 3D scanner to have extra artifacts on them. The value is the diameter tolerance of the feature to be removed. The final utility is the subdivide model feature. This is great for breaking up 3D models into separate components. Here I've got an, an assembly that was saved as an STF. This isn't an assembly file, but the subdivide model utility will find the separate bodies and bring them in as separate components. Here you can see the extension that was appended, model utility, submodel, one, two, three, four.
you can use multiple file utilities at once. There's a sheet body that I prepared. It's got a hole in the top that's preventing it from being watertight. It also has a small artifact that's sticking out the side. Maybe that's something that came in from a 3D scanner or some other feature that was imported that I don't really want anymore. So let's try that again using our model utilities. We'll repair to take care of that hole in the top. We'll reduce it to decrease the file size of this sheet body. We'll remove the features to take care of that small outward protrusion that we have. Great. You see the, there's more facets to the body from the reduce, but it's a solid model now, and there's no artifacts sticking out the side of it. These model utilities are a simple but very effective tool to get the most out of your 3D models and your Verica simulation. I hope you enjoyed this tech tip.